Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you again. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is entitled Harbin International Ice Festival. So we know that Harbin is a place and international means many countries are involved. It's not just one country. Uh, an ice festival. So festival is like a celebration uh, where people come together and they have a very good time. So it's dealing with something about ice. So let's see what today's article is all about. As you can see in the picture, what flag is that? That looks like a Chinese flag, it's flag of China. So maybe Harbin is a part of China. So let's take a look. It says around this time of year in the winter when it's very cold, Ice and snow festivals are being held around the world in countries like Canada, Norway, Russia, and Japan. So if you look at these countries like Canada, Norway, Russia, and Japan, they all have very cold winters with a lot of snow and ice. On top of that, so in addition, one of the world's biggest ice sculpture events, the 33rd Harbin International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival, opened in northeastern China on January 5th. So one of the world's largest ice sculptures. So ice sculpture is like an ice statue. A sculpture is when you take a large block of either rock or snow or ice or uh, wood and then you start carving it to make a statue. That's called a sculpture. So uh, this is a large, one of the biggest ice sculpture events in the world. And this is the 33rd time that they're doing it in uh, Harbin and they open it to the world so that's why it's international so their ice and snow sculpture festival and they opened in northeastern China on January 5th so just uh, this month they opened it in northeastern China so once again north is up and east is to the right so uh, northeastern part of China is where they had this and that's where Harbin is located under the theme the theme is like the topic uh, under the theme, Ice Snow Joy Ode Meet in Harbin. This event is attracting a large number of visitors every day. So that's the theme, Ice Snow Joy Ode Meet in Harbin. So under that topic or under that title, the theme, Ode is kind of, it, Ode is a type of poetry. So it's kind of like uh, saying something is wonderful or it's exclaiming it or it's saying it's wonderful. So it's a kind of like a theme where they're celebrating snow and the joy that it brings and ice. Uh, and they're saying, let's meet in Harbin. So they're saying all this excitement, joy, celebration of ice and snow, let's meet in Harbin and they come together in Harbin. So this event is attracting or bringing together large number of visitors every day. Uh, the second paragraph, it says the festival was started in 1963 as a traditional party featuring ice lantern, uh, ice lantern shows and gardens. So when it first started in 1963, they used it as a traditional party. Traditional means it's something that happens in a country and you do it again and again. So in Korea, for example, something that is traditional to our culture is uh, in the New Year's, we wear hanbok and we eat uh, tteokguk, the rice cake soup. That's part of our tradition. We do it for, uh, we've been doing it for hundreds of years. So in here, uh, in Harbin, China, one of their traditions was having an ice lantern show. So lantern is like those old lamps where they used to light it and carry it around. And in the winter, they would gather together and they would have that kind of festival. So that's how it started in 1963. Uh, and now it became the world's largest international ice and snow sculpting festival uh, in 2001 after being merged with the Heilongjiang International Ski Festival and set a Guinness record for the world's largest snow sculpture. So here we see that it was merged. Merged means joined together. So uh, in 2001, that ice and snow sculpting festival in Harbin, it became the largest when it was joined together uh, with the Heilongjiang International Ski Festival. So uh, in that region, in the region of Heilongjiang, they had another festival and it was a skiing festival. And when people from all over the world, international, would come together and they joined these two festivals together, it became uh, a very very large festival and they broke a Guinness record. So Guinness is the organization that goes around and records the world records for all different kinds of things. So the world record that they set here was the record for the largest snow sculpture uh, in the world.
So here, uh, last year, the festival had the world's tallest snow castle. So they broke the record. They set a new record at this uh, Harbin International Ice Festival uh, for the largest snow sculpture, and it was a snow castle. So I'd like to see what that looks like. It must have been very, very big. So it says in the last paragraph, running from January 5th to February 25th, this festival consists of several theme zones, including Harbin Ice, and snow world so here it says running from that means it starts and it goes through or goes until so it starts in january 5th and it goes until february 25th so you can still go right now because we're still in january this festival consists meaning that it's made up of so there's different parts so it's made up of several theme zones so there's areas where they have different topics or different themes uh, including Harbin Ice and Snow World. So one of the areas is the Ice and Snow World of Harbin. Uh, in addition, contests in skiing, skating, ice hockey, and ice sailing are scheduled, as well as swimming competitions. So there's not just sculptures or um, different things that people make and show, but there's also different contests in skiing, ice skating, hockey, and ice sailing. We know sailing in the ocean, where you use a sail and kind of like a boat, but they're gonna do that uh, on the ice. So there's different competitions or different contests as well that are scheduled, so they're planning on doing it. So there's also a swimming competition. So I'm sure you've seen in the very, very cold winter, people jump in the water and then they come right out to see you know, who can handle the cold, uh, the cold. So there's going to be different competitions at this international festival. So there's a lot of things that you can go and see. So I've seen pictures of the Harbin International Ice Festival and it's very beautiful. So it's something that uh, if you're in China, uh, it's something that you might wanna check out. So uh, if you love the winter, if you love the ice and snow and you wanna see many different beautiful sculptures and check out different competitions, uh, this will be a great place for you to visit. Okay, so let's take a look at the comprehension questions for today. It says, what is the theme of the 33rd Harbin International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival? So theme is, what is the main uh, topic or the focus? So the main focus, we talked about that word ode because it's kind of like a joyous, like a celebration. Uh, it says, ice, snow, joy, ode, meet in Harbin. So the joy of ice and snow is going to meet in Harbin and you should come too. That's kind of their theme. Okay, so it's a celebration of the ice and snow. Uh, that's the theme. Let's look at question B. It says, when did the festival start? So we know that it started quite a while ago, uh, a few decades ago. So it was in 1963. So that's about close to 50 years, uh, a little bit over 50 years ago. Okay, and uh, question C. Uh, when did it become the world's largest international ice and snow sculpting festival? So we said that it became when it joined together, when it merged. When did that merge take place? And it was in 2001. So we can see that this is just a part of the ice festival in Harbin, and it's uh, lit up and it's very beautiful. And who knows, maybe those are all ice sculptures that they lit up, right? So it could be uh, a show of many different uh, sculptures and structures. So we can see uh, that it's a place where many people around the world gather together. So let's look at the last part of our comprehension questions today. Let's fill in the blank. Uh, the question eight says, around this time of the year, ice and snow something are being held around the world. So we know that uh, dealing with the topic or the theme of ice and snow, there are many different somethings around the world and we said it's a celebration, so those are festivals. So many different snow, ice and snow festivals are taking place in places like Canada, Norway, Russia, Japan, all over the world. Uh, B, it says the 33rd Harbin International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival opened in blank China. So where in China is this taking place? So we said it was a uh, northeastern part of China. So the top right corner uh, of China. And that's in Heilongjiang, uh, in the region of Heilongjiang, and that's uh, the city of Harbin. Uh, the last question. The festival was started in 1963 as a something party featuring ice lantern shows and gardens. So we said in Korea, uh, what we do year after year, it's part of our culture, is we wear those hanboks and we also eat the rice cake soup. So that's part of our, uh, and that's their part of, so what, what's that word? 
traditional, right? So it's something that we do uh, part of our culture. So uh, looking at today's article, this is something that a lot of people all across the world, it's an international event where people go and visit to see this ice festival. So maybe if you have time, you can take your family to go to Heilongjiang in Harbin and check out the, the winter festival. So it's a beautiful place and you can see many beautiful things. And maybe one day uh, you and I, we can meet in Harbin. So it's a great festival that celebrates the cold winter and beautiful ice and snow. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your winter and I will see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.